we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Shakita. For today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about 10 things you should know before visiting Gambia. And this list is in no particular order, it's just some things that I came up with and just thought of that I felt people should know before coming here. Okay, first off, when you make it here at the airport, just know you're gonna have a lot of people bum rushing you and coming up to you trying to help you. I'm not sure how it is now because I think they actually changed it to be honest. I think they actually changed it to where people cannot go inside of the airport. There's these people there that say that they're helping you blah 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 with your bags and this and that but they really want something um, in exchange, some money, you know. I, I just know when we first came there was a lot of people trying to do that like just they would just all come at you at once saying oh I can help you with your bag, I can do this blah 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 and then when they put the bag in the car and everything they're just like <laughs> waiting for their money well, even if it's if it's not in the airport like i said i think they changed that there's going to be people outside of the airport just waiting to help you but really they're just beggars i believe expecting money so just know that there will be those type of people there <laughs> an open mind and I tell this to everybody that asks me advice or whatever coming here make sure you have an open mind coming do not come here thinking that oh it's gonna be this way like it's gonna be like how I see it on TV the stereotype please because before I had my mind set how it was gonna be and I really was just like shocked at how it was just nothing how I expected it was just so much better <laughs> next number three i would say is what you should expect and like just know is that you you will be doing a lot of walking when you come here just know that because i'm pretty sure you're not going to be coming with the car obviously you're either going to be doing a lot of walking or just paying with a taxi if you don't want to be walking everywhere but with that being said you're going to lose a lot of weight and you'll be sweating in places you never thought you could sweat in when we first came here my whole family all of us we lost so much weight i'm telling you just because of all this walking so imagine the hot sun on you and you're walking everywhere you need to go like you're just destined to like just just lose so much weight number four i would have to say is you will most likely get cheated if this is your first time coming most people they will know that you're if they know you're not from here they would try to cheat you but i feel like if you know the language your chances of getting cheated are a bit lower than if, if you don't know the language because if you know the language then like you know you can kind of communicate with them and like negotiate with them better like speaking the language that's a good thing also about living here like a lot of the people at the market or wherever you're buying something they negotiate they're always about negotiating here and that is a really good thing about living here and doing business here everyone is willing to go down there's always a last price so yeah i would just say beware of bumpsters beggars there's a lot of beggars here i will say that and people just trying to like scam you out of your money beware of those people because there's people here like that just like it is in any other country of course and they will try to sweet talk you and just like have these types of conversations with you thinking it's all nice and stuff i had to learn the hard way like I would just be thinking, oh wow, these people, they, they're nice, they're so nice, they want to be my friend, blah, blah, blah. That's the tricky thing. Like I said, this place is overall a very welcoming and nice country, but you do have those bad people in out of the bunch, just like any other country, that sweet talk you and then eventually be trying to like get you out of your money. And you know, of course, if you're smart, you can sense that, obviously within the conversation, but yeah, I'm just saying to be aware of those people. And some, it's not even just like, male like it would even be like old women or even like little kids they would use their little kids to get money out of people so beware of that i would say and also um like i said when they're trying to sweet talk you never when you come here never share this is common sense obviously but never share where you're living here or staying at here in gambia like what hotel because some people are 
I just crazy. I know that's common sense, but I noticed when I first came here and even my family, like a lot of people, like bumpsters, or I guess I, I should say, would always ask like, oh, where are you living? Where do you stay? Blah, blah, blah. And we had to learn the hard way. Like, that's just, you don't do that because they will follow you. I'm pretty sure like they will find out where you live or somehow like just end up in your neighborhood. It's just weird. So yeah, just, just be mindful of that. Bumpsters trying to sweet talk you and, you know, be too nice because they want something out of it. Okay. Along with bumpsters and people trying to like, uh, rip you off or whatever be aware of this, some of these taxis because like i said if you're not going to be walking then you're going to be doing taxis you'll do taxis a lot and those can add up quickly especially if you don't really know the actual prices of which place is to which place so be aware of the prices here try and learn uh, the prices of getting a taxi from this point a to point b because some of these people are ridiculous with the prices so yeah, i would just say like always aim for the yellow taxis those aren't the tourist taxis the tourist taxis i believe are the green ones and they just always give ridiculous prices because they're obviously tourist prices so if you're going to be using a taxi to go everywhere blah blah, blah use a yellow taxi if you're trying to save your money number five i would say is when you're coming to pack here, coming to pack here, when you're packing to come here, I would say to pack light. Do not pack all of these unnecessary clothes, unnecessary shoes, unnecessary accessories, all of that. Don't do it. I remember my best friend came here. She she had to learn the hard way because like she brought all this stuff and she didn't even wear half of it, you know? So just be mindful of that. And not only that did she not wear it, but she wanted to take some stuff back and like the space was a problem. So pack light because you're gonna be coming here of course and i'm sure you're going to want to take some stuff back so make sure you don't have too much stuff in your luggage so that you're able to take some things back with you on your trip if you want to bring some things back for your relatives and friends souvenirs whatever the case may be you're gonna want to have some space in that suitcase number six i would say kind of goes in with number five a bit is to pack bug spray have a lot of bug spray with you y'all the mosquitoes here are like crazy as well as with the flies like i never knew flies goodbye until i came here so you really want to make sure that you have a lot of bug spray with you and there are malaria mosquitoes here so you definitely want to make sure that you do have the bug spray to keep that away because malaria is not good it's not a good thing to experience I had an experience with it. It was horrible, like to the point where I was crying. Like I just felt hot and cold at the same time. I was sweating like, ooh, it was just horrible. Like I'll probably do a story time on that, but that, I'm telling y'all, that was not a good experience and it was scary. So um, yeah, make sure you bring your bug spray, a lot of bug spray for that you think will last for the majority of the time that you're here. seven i would say is there is so many things you can do here i know i said in my pros and cons video that there's not much to do here for teens or whatever but i definitely want to update on that there is a lot to do here i just didn't know about it and i just was like always just in the house and i never really went out and did those things or whatever you know but there is actually a lot of stuff to do here and i'm like it's it's, it's horrible that now i'm knowing all the stuff that i can be doing when i'm for in this whole lockdown situation, you know, and everything is closed. But trust and believe you guys, once this stuff is lifted, I'm going to all of the, those places. I went to the monkey park and I went to the crocodile park. That, that was pretty fun. I did quad biking before, that was super fun. And I'm definitely gonna do that again with my friends after this whole thing is lifted. And boat trips I've done before as well, though it's super fun. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the Wasau, Wasau Stone Circles, I want to visit that. And I know my parents really want to visit there as well. Kunta Kinte Island, walking with the lions at Fatala. I really, I've been wanting to do that since I moved here, but I have yet to go there. But y'all, just once this stuff is settled down, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna vlog for all y'all, and y'all can see it. So yeah, there's just a lot you can do here. So many different adventurous things. Number eight, eating out in Gambia is very inexpensive. In general, everything here, I feel like is so inexpensive. Like, if you're coming from out, the food is inexpensive, clothing is inexpensive, 
shopping at the market is inexpensive if you know what the real prices are like I can't really say that because like if they know you're not from here they would try to rip you off and I know that's every country obviously they're going to try to get as much as they can out of tourists or people who are not from here you know because they don't they think they don't know the prices you know so yeah but for the most part everything over here is very inexpensive so definitely look forward to that that's one thing that I really love about living here a lot of stuff is very cheap Okay, number nine, I would say, and it's horrible. Sexual tourism is here. And when you come here, you will most likely see it. Yeah, it's here, unfortunately. And when you see it, you will know that that's that. It's a little weird, it's weird to see. The tourists coming here, exploiting the women, sometimes even children. Yeah, there's like the pedophiles coming here. How the government allows it, I really don't understand. I don't know, It's it's just, sickening but they are here i know they see it because it's so like obvious you see it at the beach or uh when when we i used to go out club with my friends you would just see it and it's just like ugh. but that'll be a whole nother video that i don't really want to go into depth about that like in this video but i'm just i just wanted to let you guys know that it is here number 10 i would have to say is be aware of your belongings when you come here. Just like, that's common sense. Like in every country there is thieves and just bad people. I learned the hard way. My brother learned the hard way. My sister learned the hard way. <laughs> just about everybody in my family learned. Like we got something taken from us because we weren't being cautious. So I would just say, be smart. Don't have your phone out in the open. Don't have your bag in the back of you when you're walking in these big places such as Saracunda Market, especially when you're in Saracunda Market, y'all, or any market with just a lot of people around you. Hold your belongings tight and close to you. Like, don't lose sight of it because there are a lot of people there that got sticky fingers, and it's easy for them to take it because they're in. They're just in this. You're just in this crowd of people, and like you know. Who are you to say like who took what if you didn't see it, you know? So yeah, be aware of thieves and just like scam artists and people just trying to play you out your money. Also be aware of this guys, when you come here and you go to the market especially, you will come across these people asking you if you would like to exchange some money. Do not fall for it. Those are some of the biggest scam artists here. They will not switch over the proper amount from whatever your currency is into Delossi. So do not fall for that. Especially if you're coming here alone by yourself, be aware of that and do not go out at night by yourself just walking because it's just not safe. They see you, you're vulnerable. They will take advantage of you, take your money, sweet talk you and then take your money. Like I know that's common sense. Once again, all of this is common sense, but like I'm just telling you a lot I've said in like many of my videos about how this place is very welcoming, sweet, just positive and bubbly, but you do have those bad people out of the bunch. Like, it's just not all cherries and sunshine, whatever. Like, you have those bad people. So I'm just gonna say, like, of course it is very peaceful and nice here, but you may run into that type of person. So don't, just, just be aware is what I'm saying. Next, I would have to say, Gambia has some of the most beautiful hotels ever here. And I'll place pictures of each different hotels that I've just seen and been inside of and they're just so gorgeous and harmony resort hyperlink i've been to many times before it's very beautiful there you have coco ocean sunset tamala it's so beautiful there Jim Bay beach i went there recently i showed you guys in the video for the the modeling dinghy for tiga it is so gorgeous they're so gorgeous just just so many beautiful hotels so you cannot go wrong and just do your research on the hotels here and see what is most appealing to you and fits your budget whatever the case may be what is best for you and go from there but i don't think you can go wrong because everywhere most hotels here are just so beautiful i really wish we weren't on lockdown right now because i would definitely be giving you guys tours of those hotels and different places but just know that there are some very beautiful hotels that you can choose from when coming here also let me let me say this as well though when you come to some of these hotels, some of them they offer like these excursions to different places like Kachakali, Crocodile Park or Monkey Park or wherever. 
I would recommend you do it on your own. Try to find a way to those places on your own. If you're able to, it's gonna cost you a lot less. So if you're really trying to like save your money on this trip and whatever, definitely take a yellow taxi and go to those places yourself or take somebody with you and have them take you. And lastly, I would say knowing everything on the list and everything I told you, just be prepared to have the time of your life coming here because this is gonna be the trip of your life. You're not gonna regret it. Like if you follow everything I said on the list then like you're going to have so much fun and everything will be amazing. Coming here, you're gonna have the best vacation ever. You gotta come back, I know. Because like I always say to everyone that asks me about Gambia, when you come here, you're not going to want to leave. And if you do leave, you're gonna be dying to come back to Gambia because it's just that awesome <laughs> so yeah that is pretty much the video guys i just wanted to make this video for people who are thinking about coming here after this whole corona situation for everyone who has just been asking me about gambia and like just a little bit that they should know before coming over here um i hope to see so many of y'all after this whole thing is settled whatever the heck it is is settled and you guys are allowed to uh travel over here so yeah but yeah that was my video i hope you guys enjoyed it um any other questions you want to know about gambia please put them in the comment section so i can definitely answer them in a future video also if you're in gambia and you feel like i missed some things that i should have put on the list that people should know before coming to gambia please put it in the comment section help another brother or sister out see you guys all in my next video until next time much love peace